Five years ago, I was on death's doorstep. I had respiratory failure. Even though I was using a BiPAP machine to help me breathe, dangerously high carbon dioxide levels threatened to end my life. Instead of discussing the option of getting a tracheostomy tube and being started on invasive ventilation as a life-saving solution, my doctors talked of getting a tracheostomy tube as if it was a death sentence. It was inferred that once I got a tracheostomy tube, I should start planning my funeral. My life was going to end very soon. After receiving a tracheostomy tube and being started on invasive ventilation on May 3rd, 2017, my world was flipped upside down. Getting a tracheostomy tube was the best thing I had ever done. I no longer had to use all my energy to breathe. I could enjoy life again and was free from having a mask cut up my face. My quality of life after getting a tracheostomy tube dramatically improved. The decision to get a tracheostomy tube should be one guided by your medical team and caregivers. There are pros and cons to getting a tracheostomy tube and everything needs to be carefully examined before making a decision. However, one thing I would like to stress is that getting a tracheostomy tube is not a death sentence. It is a symbol of life. Without getting a tracheostomy tube, I would have died five years ago. The number one reason for needing a tracheostomy tube is to create an artificial airway to improve breathing. When a tracheostomy tube is in place, less work is needed by the patient to breathe. This translates into the patient having more energy and a better quality of life. If a ventilator is needed, one of the biggest benefits to having a tracheostomy tube is that it removes the mask from the face. The masks are often hard to fit and may be very uncomfortable. The mask may cause irritation and redness. If a tracheostomy tube is needed to clear tracheal secretions, being able to suction and use a nebulizer will help manage secretions. While secretions are often a never-ending battle, having a tracheostomy tube tremendously improves a patient's ability to clear his airway. One of the biggest drawbacks with using a tracheostomy tube is that it may increase the risk for infection. The nose and mouth produce immune cells which help fight microorganisms and prevent infection. When a tracheostomy tube is inserted, it creates an artificial airway which bypasses the nose and mouth. Having a tracheostomy tube may allow microorganisms to have direct access to the lower airways. This may lead to an increased rate of infection. Having a tracheostomy tube requires additional care. The tracheostomy tube must be changed. The airways need to be kept clean and suctioning may be required. If the person uses a ventilator, the ventilator will also need to be maintained. Having the proper care available should be a major consideration when getting a tracheostomy tube. If the patient is able to care for his own tracheostomy tube, that is a huge plus. However, if the person will require the assistance of others, a care team should be set up before getting a tracheostomy tube. Caregivers do not need to be nurses or respiratory therapists. A caregiver simply must be someone who is willing to learn and take responsibility for the tracheostomy tube. With the tracheostomy tube, there are some pastimes which are off limits. For example, a person should not participate in water activities such as swimming, water skiing, and scuba diving. If water enters the tracheostomy tube, it has direct access to the lungs. This can lead to infection or cause the person to drown. 
Medical providers may have strong recommendations for the patient, but at the end of the day, it is the patient who will live with the decision. However, the patient does not have to be alone in the decision-making process. The goal should be that everyone involved has the space to give and receive information, ask questions, review the options, and discuss thoughts and feelings honestly. This decision should be one shared. The family, patient, and medical team should work together and come to an agreed-upon solution. Thank you so much for joining me on my fifth anniversary of getting a tracheostomy tube. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye!